Yeah, is it working? Oh. Booted, come back, please. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, it's back, well, well, the people who were on the Moobot will it still be working. Yep. Okay. Moobot Sorry. should be fine. Okay. Sorry if I keep looking on the underside of this. I don't do this very often. I just want to make sure it's transferring properly. I, I think that... I don't even know if that was us. I think that might have been Glitch. Oh, honey. Oh, oh, I see. Like, their whole... Yeah, we're at 105 viewers. Oh, so. okay. We're good. All right. That's a lot. Yeah, so... Yeah, we still have 13 minutes to the raffle. Oh, okay. Uh, sub, uh, sub fanatic says, uh, my world ended about for about 20 seconds. Uh, I'm Would sorry. Jasmine mind giving us best. a hint on Megacon pins? I don't know. Well, I, I kind of just said one, but I was kind of playing with you guys. But um, thing that if I kept the mold for this one, maybe I could do a different color one for Megacon that was special. But the thing with Megacon is I have... Three events before Megacon, so or two events before Megacon, so I have to kind of focus on those before I right, start every, planning that. Yeah, it's like most a, people want to know the people, one that's closest to them. Right. <laughs> and uh, yeah. right. In our world, tomorrow's an event. Yeah. Nobody well, not tomorrow. I mean, it's in well, a way. Tonight though. was an event. Yeah. There um, you go. But yeah. Hey, I'll you know I one of okay. Got... I'll say one of them at least will be a variant because I've. And again, I think that's funny. Not that it's wrong. I just think it's funny that people would prefer variants on existing pins instead of, like, new designs. But whatever. I, I would be happy to do that. That saves me, like, 50 bucks, too. So, hey. Maybe I'll make one of these and make it a different color. Is that tracing on that part? Yeah, it's... Okay. It's tracing. All right. I, I, well, I don't know exactly where... I'm her, trying to do I don't her, know. her right eye, which oh, would be our sure left that. eye. I Let's don't know. So I don't know how many times you can use this paper before it stops working. This is probably a very boring thing to watch. I think this is the theme of this episode, is like boring stuff that people keep asking us to show. But uh, Tammy asks if we enjoyed yes. the merge of PlanetCon and Spectrum. I think it brought a lot more people. I've I've never been to Planet Comic Con before. Um, my sister's been there on my behalf. Yeah, I don't know. But I have not been there myself, so I don't know what it was like before. But I have been to Spectrum before, and I think a lot more people were there since it was Planet Comic Con slash Spectrum than when it was just Spectrum, if that makes sense. So now Kitten wants a, a hint on what uh -huh. a girl with a pearl earring will look like. Ah, well, I've, I've got some hints. That, that's one, I don't know, was she here when we are talking about the different types of um, things we've been looking at for her? I don't know. Okay. Probably. Probably, okay. But that was, um, I have, let me see, after I finish, I'm worried if I stop tracing this, like this horrible paper is going to fall yeah, down and make too, my that hands I'd black. Go over and, something yeah. twice or get Yeah, I don't want to ruin it, but yeah, um, I'll show you. I promise I'll show you after I finish this. Um, and people are curious how it's coming along. Well, there. to be honest, there have been multiple Girl with the Pearl Earring designs we've done. Some of them had three-dimensional stones on of them. Um, one of them had actual pearls and we're vegetarians and we try not to put actual animal products and things. So that kind of slowed us down a bit. But we it will still be the April pin of the month, even if it is the later part of our April. I didn't want to order like hundreds of them. That, that's a lot of oysters, even though oysters have literally zero personality. But we also have, um, we're supposed to be getting in the mail from the factory a version that has a type of pearlescent enamel that they're using on it instead of a physical piece. Because the first physical stones we had that were stuck in the ears, I was worried they would fall out. And it was like, if people are going to put this on their purse or their jacket or their backpack, I don't want it to fall off and then I'll have a million people emailing saying oh what sort of super glue can I use to fix this and I, I want it to be right when I send it out so it will definitely be in April that we send her out but um let's see do I have her here I've got the uh, yes yes uh, okay. here we go this is the scanned in version of what the artwork turned out to look like 
this here was, uh, ignore this because I just kind of stuck a fake pearl on there when I scanned her in to see if that would be good. So I'm not sure if it will be a, a, an oval shape, a pearlescent enamel, or if it will be a, a physical bead that is a vegetarian friendly pearl on her ear. Yeah, or so thank you everyone for your out. patience so, also. Yeah, definitely. Usually we would send them out around now, but it, it won't be that long. It will definitely be during April. It's the April pin of the month. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll make sure she's good. It, it, as soon as we get them in, they'll go out really quick. Yeah, of course. It's just my own sort of... Oh, some would say OCD, some would say quality control, <laughs> that I want to make sure that she looks good and isn't going to break or anything before we send her to Also, people, Jasmine so, has yeah. a bad habit of making things more complicated because she's an artist. Almost. Oh my gosh, you think? That, well, that's you it, even mention it. That's like, kind of my theme, me? yeah. Okay, I've got 70 hours to make a painting. It's like how many tiny details can I put in it? Yeah, so if you're in the um if you're in the pin collector group, just hang tight. Um we'll, we'll get those to you. Yeah, I think I posted up there and told them we were trying a few different um ways cuz I I want the earring and that's just me nerding out on it. I want the earring to be the focus of the pin. I don't want it to just be the same color as her skin. I don't want it to just be plain white. I want it to look different than the rest of her. Will it be it's a girl with a pearl for earring. The pearl? What's or, that? Will it be like a raised enamel for the yeah, pearl? It might be. Again, with I the think shimmer I've... of the pearl, or will it just be flat? I've looked at five different <laughs> versions of her yet, so I want to look at them and see which one I think looks best. So, if that answers your question, it. it I'm probably. <sighs> We even had some beads made, and I was worried that that were exactly the right size for earring, and I was worried that they might come off too easy if we tried to. I we tried to quality test them. It's like if you put that on your jacket and bumped it against a wall, you don't want the pearl to fall off. Jasmine. And I don't want to be on the pin group explaining a billion times over and over again, like, hey, you can use this sort of super glue or something like that. What's that? Uh, is the other Megacon pin going to be you holding an empty frame to compliment at the easel? No. <laughs> okay, and Steve says since eight and sand close, you should do the Emerald City Comic Con next March, so I can see your booth here in Seattle. Oh, March is probably not a time I would do something on the West Coast usually because that, it's, it either be, us, it's either going to be it's either going to be Disney, it's going to be um, Glastonbury or Whitby, which are places I already exhibit at, or it will be um, what's the other one we do in March? Let's... Um. Oh, Planet Comic Con. <laughs> and Spectrum. Yeah. Uh, it's probably going to be one of the shows I do because if, when we, we do we a convention... We did talk to our, our neighbor, um, Camilla, and she said it was really good. Though. Yeah. Oh, I know it's a good show. It just... Um, if you're driving from Florida to... A convention like that is different than doing a gallery show. Gallery show, you just got to mail the paintings. If you're doing a convention, you have to physically bring every little thing from the thing that you're putting bags into. Oh, or, I yeah. see. Uh, that Nintendo guy saying... It would be me holding the empty frame. Oh, yeah. We're going to do one with Jason holding a frame. Yeah. No, me. Oh, you, Maddie. Oh, okay. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> no. Sorry, I was wrong. No. I see. Yes. I see uh, what he's yes. asking. Oh, Maddie. Oh, that would, that would be too much like that one billboard, Maddie. No. Yes. Oh. Is that billboard again? That's kind of great. <laughs> that Nintendo guy, I like that. Do we that, have dates but... for Glastonbury? I don't know. Have you asked anyone out? What that it. <laughs> You, um, I can't, sometimes they tell me the dates ahead of time, but I can't ever say the dates until they have been published on their website. So if you look at Karen K Events, Karen, K-A-R-E-N, K-A-Y is her last name, Events, and see if she has the Glastonbury dates up yet, because I have not looked yet. And if so, those are wanting to be there. It will be the autumn one, the one in October. So we, it's funny because often these questions yeah. show us, uh, no matter how much we do, yeah, we still we're not doing have... enough. Makes no. you feel good, doesn't it? <laughs> no, what I'm saying is like, Jesus, really? I'm like, we don't have all this information for these people all the time. I know. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's, th th those are all. Those have all been very valid questions. No, really. no the, the ones that I not, think are hilarious. I'm not trying to not stop people from asking but, questions. Yeah. I'm just saying sometimes we're. We're ill prepared. Yeah. Well, the, the, the questions I think are funny are when people ask me about the Renaissance fairs because I think a lot of people don't understand if you 
buy a house at the rent fair, you're buying a house. It's like you get a mortgage. You get you buy a deed to the property. You don't come in for one weekend to do the Oklahoma Renaissance fair. You buy property, and it's like buying it's a like house. Monopoly. It's like hey, will you buy a house in Baltimore for one weekend? It's like oh no, Baltimore I'm okay. Avenue. You know, now that I like Baltimore. Actually, I've done some shows in Baltimore before fairy camp. I like Baltic. But I think people don't training. get that about rent fairs or the people who are visiting it. It's like no, I I can't. I, I can't get the mortgage right now. I'm sorry. I'm doing my best. I'm trying as fast as I can. Like, why don't you come to Texas Run Fair just for one weekend? Fair. What would you do there, Tammy? What's that? What would Tammy? I do didn't hear her? the first part. Love. I want a house at Ren Fair. What yeah. would Tammy do at her house? Sleep in the house? Yeah. Uh, Hell just yeah. The ha Heck yeah. The house? Yeah. Hey, we you have a, we have a here, kitchen man. and uh, we have bunk beds in ours, man. It's Candles upstairs. And soap. There you go. That's a great thing to have. At one thing fair. that you that's a lot of things I buy at the run fair. Yeah. You know what I buy at the run fair is incense. My God, incense and scented oils. I'm not sure if they have I buy a, tons of that. Hey Jasmine, do yeah. they have like a no compete issue at run fairs? Like if let's say somebody already sells things like that. I have no idea. Artwork isn't really like that. No, so it's, it's not, not like you. Oh, I sell leather boots, and somebody else sells leather boots. That's Okay, but uh, yeah. if it's artwork, artwork can be everywhere. I will say it's not that, something you need, it's something um, you like. It is, it's uh, not really competing. It might look fun at first, but I promise it is work, except not for me. Oh, it's... <laughs> so how are you making a promise? No, no, okay. um, because uh, yeah. it's work for Chris and Amber, and then oh, Jasmine when she yeah, comes in. Kinda. But I hang out with a niece and nephew, so it's fun. Yeah. Speaking That's of, we had a lot of fun in Kansas City. We got yeah. to, yeah, so we got to visit our family. Planet Comic Con, somebody just asked about that. And that, that was a that was a good show. Um, financially, it was very good. A lot of people came. Um, I, it was combined with Spectrum. I met so, that so many neat. people from Twitch on there. that. Yeah, we saw a lot of Twitch people there. We saw a lot of our Patreon people there. Um, we also saw a lot of our artist friends there. And I, I did spend a certain amount of money on artwork. So if that happened. But I tend to do that. But it, I, I kind of like, I, I don't know if they're going to do it next year. I hope they do that. Um, that Spectrum is the art show for Planet Comic Con. I think that was a smart idea because Spectrum, when it's been there in Kansas City before, was ne never super busy. It, it had a lot of great artwork, and there are a lot of collectors who are really into collecting artwork, but it doesn't have the, oh, the craziness that goes with something like Comic Con or Dragon Con. Hey, Jasmine, that's a, yeah. that looks cool. Yeah, see? Look at that. It's there. That's yeah, you know, if I was it. lazy, I'd say, here you go, pin factory, figure it out yourself. But no, I'm going to paint it. <laughs> That's how I am. But it should look close enough, hopefully, to the one, oh, where is she? Oh, there she is. Yay. To my biohazard pin. And again, I'm just doing the line art. I can always do her face tones and maybe the black parts of her hair while we're here tonight. I don't know what time it is. Is it around six? It's, we, we are right there at the easel, guys. Okay. Make sure you have your raffle in. Oh, yeah. 103 people in the room. Okay. And I'm sorry it, uh, Twitch kicked everybody off, but it did it at the same time. I don't think it was on our end. It's probably just their server. Maybe something exciting's happening on some other channel. Probably not this yeah. one. Hear this little dee 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 dee. Uh, anyways, we've oh. got at the easel. Oh, wow. See, I did not even know it was 6 o'clock. I just have a thing in my head. Ooh, bot. Hmm. We're talking bad about you, Mubot. Jasmine said, have you thought about replacing that horrible oh, Mubot? Don't tell me about that. Oh, wait. I don't have anything to Okay. okay. I am not familiar with this person. Ooh, a new Thorn person. Tree lady. It's not somebody who's won a million times before. No, that happens so many times. Thorn okay. Tree Lady. Thorn Tree? Thorn like a thorn tree, tree lady. Ooh, that's, that's a good name. Sounds like that song. Thorn Tree Lady. I, I don't know. Oh, wait, that's, that's not Thorn Tree Lady. I don't think that's a song. Anyways, I'm trying to look at her eyebrows to see if I... Again, I don't trust carbon paper. And I if I was painting if this, ever... if I was painting this for like an actual painting that was going to hang in a gallery, I wouldn't want to use this because it looks like pencil, but it's very smudgy. So what I'm going to do as soon as I can is take um, some sort of dark paint. I'll probably make a fake black paint made out of... Oh, Van Dyke Brown and um, Quinacridone Purple or something like that and mix them together. But I want the outlines to match this as much as possible. Again, since I don't have the same mold, I want it to match that as close as po possible in case somebody has the first pen. 
So it looked like they were made from the same mold, but different colors. And apparently, we're going to vote on the colors on uh, Patreon. Yes. That, that, sounds, that cool. sounds fun. I'll probably do it very soon because I'll be working on this tonight. <laughs> so I will probably post the poll on Patreon tomorrow to make sure we get the mold to the factory in time to make whatever. They have to make the mold before they pour the enamels and the, they do it by hand. Every single little cell has to be poured in by hand. Which Ellen's is why they leaving bury Jasmine's a little bit. Who's leaving? Helen? Ellen. Oh, well, it's night night there, night. isn't it? And night Helen's Helen. going to move to Spain someday. Oh, that's what all my British friends say all the time, isn't it? She'll see me there in my munchkin it? shoes. What's that, baby? She'll see me there in my munchkin shoes. Apparently, yeah. I've heard your stories about Spain. I don't quite understand it, but maybe it's something to do You don't have to understand it. You just have to live it. Oh, um, I don't have to. Oh, Jasmine. Oh. I mean, I don't have to be there. <laughs> So next, um, our next raffle in an hour, and okay. that's uh, when we're concluding and our broadcast for at the day, easel, so. would be an at another at the easel, as Jasmine just said. Yep. One of these friends here. Or you could have I was gone to Kansas uh, City. green-eyed lady to the thorn tree lady, yeah. Oh, that's, I, I couldn't tell. You're, you're not. Fashion's lady. Okay, gotcha. Okay. See, that Nintendo guy always knows the score. He knows what's going on. Oh, that's, a, that's why he's that Nintendo guy. He knows all about the score. So I'm taking some Van Dyke Brown and some Paints Gray just because I want to go over these lines before I start putting any sort of color paint on it. Kind of like how I did with the um, Girl with the Pearl Earring and Voodoo and Violet. Sorry for the squidgy noises here. If you got the uh, biohazard emoji, pop it in the room. <laughs> to cheer Jasmine on. Well, I can't see it, but Matt will tell me. <laughs> I put one in the room. Oh, you did? Thank yeah. you, Maddie. You love me? I... Aww. I... I I do. Well, I didn't so. even think about that of having been April. I try not to profess my love too happy on things like this. Mm. Because, it, I don't know, people they don't hate... like hearing that too no, much. No, they hate that. I think they think it's cute for a little bit, but then it gets weird after a while. And mm, I, I don't that, want to make people fine. feel weird. Yeah. There's whole channels for the other. Ooh, that's not what I was talking. I meant like HGTV with Chip and Joanna Gaines. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're not them. Or not them. Right, the jokes. So I'm just going over these horrible carbon tracing line things that I did for the outlines on the metal mold. This might not be very interesting to watch, but a lot of people have asked how I do this. And since it's a variant, I think it's a good example of, hey, this is the time to bust out the carbon paper and try to trace on top of something I've already made to make it more or less exactly the same. Even if I don't do it quite right, when you have something that is like eight and a half by 11 inches or eight by 10 or whatever this is, um, if you shrink that down to this size, you're not gonna be able to tell really if I'm off by like one eyelash. She's gonna look like that and somebody on Patreon apparently is gonna choose the colors and she will look quite different, but the mold will look the same. I want it to be like if Jasmine doesn't have her contacts in, in the middle of the night and is going to touch it, it feels like the same pen, but with different colors. Say night to Vix Allen. Hey, night. I think I got a little Florida sun. Oh. Is she in there? Oh, that Nintendo guy. Maybe got burnt or. I thought you were talking about dying. Sorry. Did you do I a heard a now? jingle. Huh? Or is, is it bad I to do a kitty, kitty meow? Oh, I heard a jingle noise. I thought you were really talking about I sunshine. I sunshine. Okay. She's asleep. She is a Florida sunshine. Okay. Sure. And I'll, yeah, she's I'll a good one. I'll put her... I'll make myself a coffee yeah. and uh, um, get some... Pistachios. No, I'm going to get some uh, pistachios. Oh, I want pistachios. Can you bring are, me are some they, pistachios? Are they... Yeah, they're Maybe. right where the cashews are. I ate half a bag of them the other night when I was up finishing that one painting. I, I did that in lieu of eating food for a day. I ate half a bag of cashews. It that has... was a very pleasant <laughs> gift. That was a very gifts. pleasant very gift. Very pleasant Very gift. pleasant, yes. <laughs> oh, dear. Bad. Oh, that's a bad right. <laughs> Oh, I didn't know she was right here now. Oh, that's Talendine. Oh. No, wait. <laughs> oh, that's all Talendine. Come here, baby. 
home. She's asleep. <laughs> oh, come on, Diane. She wanted to get on my shoulder. You want to so get bad. on? She's asleep, so and bad. people are gonna think she died like months ago, and we're just cashing her social security checks or something. Oh, that's oh the baby. Plan. That's the plan, sunshine. It's funny. She's about the size of a kitten, but she is technically a, a senior cat, which is hilarious. Oh, they're right here. Yeah, they're right by the cashews. Yeah, I've been eating okay. the. Yes. Oh, baby. Aren't you glad you weren't here when we we're varnishing? Because you wouldn't be allowed nearby. You wouldn't like, be allowed. I really like that. Uh, little vampire. Diesel, though. You like what? That was one of my um, one of my favorite giveaways. I didn't hear what you said. I you like the. the... the oh, it's a Vin Diesel. Okay. Uh, not gotcha. Vin Diesel. I, I I'm not a Vin Diesel fan. Really? Are you saying you don't like Vin Diesel? Uh, no, I, oh. I like him okay. Or you're just, just not, not a, a fan. specific. Fan yeah. of Vin Diesel. He's alright. I don't know. Hmm. Mm, uh, cash, um, I was gonna say cashews, but they're pistachio. Right. I think he's alright, like as a friend. I know he's really into Dungeons and Dragons. Well, who isn't? I don't know. A lot of other people. If we if we had the time, we'd be all about it. That's what I mean. That's how I got into fantasy art, really. I think it took a own good personal direction of it. Hmm. Not just necessarily making characters for your buddies. Did you know like characters for uh, Kachina and Amber? What do you think, maybe? Yes. Or I could see Kachina doing her own with like a ponytail. Actually, my dad did most of the artwork when uh, we played D&D. You know, he would read the, like when we fought Knowles, it said that they were kind of dog light and he made them look like poodles and German shepherds and, you know, St. Bernards and stuff like that. And, <laughs> Well, this is our half dog and half goblin or something. And the, we're talking about the yeah, old Danny. person now. I can't imagine him sitting around drawing poodle people. Well, you haven't seen him with three, like, nine-year-olds. I mean, that's what... That, that was very yeah. good. That's, that's yeah. being a good father. And that's what I mean about if I hadn't played a lot of fantasy D&D sort of stuff when I was a kid, I might not have thought about that as artwork. So. Hey, I think poodle people sound pretty <laughs> darn scary. There's the St. Bernard one, too. Yeah. Mm. He loves his Great Danes, though. He does. Again, he is he a dog know person. About great Danes too much then, probably. I'm sure he knew about Great Danes. Uh, he was your age. Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. You mean he didn't collect them? No. Yes. He's only had two Great Danes. Oh, we got some fun noise. Oh, magic noise. You're not talking about your coffee nest cafe or, no. or what, what's the other one? Keurig. Sorry. If you get influencer points, or if you say Keurig. I'm sorry. Are you really? No. That horrible torture device for... No. No, it's like... Was it at the Ren Fair? Uh huh. In the little for, uh, gallery of tortures or whatever? Yeah, sort of um, sass back women. Uh, oh my gosh. Them. No. Why are you thinking about it, Maddie? No, I'm just thinking because I said uh, you're being sassy. Oh. Um, something. That's call me. Sassy. You did say. You said sass back to me on the internet. Hey, you and the kiddies, too. The kiddies are sassy. All the ladies all in the sass, house. All okay. Sass back. Eh. I don't know. It was playing that last night on the Hulu. It was playing that King of the Hill with Alan Rickman on it. Oh, oh my gosh. Talk about sass back from ladies, yes. Oh, Alan Rickman well, is not a Alan jerk. Rickman he was a wonderful person. But no, the character he plays on the Renaissance, where well, I'm mentioning it because it's a Renaissance Fair episode, but yeah. Yeah. Alrighty, I am. Also, close. it implies that some people who work at the well, Renfair get like dental freedom. care, and I don't that think that was that your uh, subscription. Oh, was that what the magic noise was? Yay! Thank you. I'm using my usual brush I use, the number zero, and I'm just using this to do the line art. After this dries, I'm going to take an eraser and try to get rid of any of the smudginess because I, I just. Again, it's me just OCDing, but I hate the smudginess of carbon paper, and that's why I don't like it on regular painting. I'd rather just draw it and draw it wrong and redo it a million times and put that on there. I'm asking the room what their favorite character class is for the D&D oh, &D fans. Oh, for Dungeons and Dragons. Uh -huh. in, in race, if you want to. That sounds like a loaded question. Well, D&D oh, &D stuff. Yes. 
Would you ask Jasmine if she would consider a rainbow sherbet pin this oh. summer for a pin of the month? Would go great with pink lightning. That would. You know what? We were talking about um, doing... That would almost be a variant on pink lightning because I remember the reason I painted her was because... Oh, golly, it was some company that wanted a sticker or uh, some sort of design. Was it notebooks? I don't remember. And they were like, how about something like Pink Lightning, but with these colors and with ice cream? And that's kind of why I painted her. So it was a commission, but that she's very similar to Pink Lightning. So if I were to, maybe if I like flipped her sideways, Ranges are and pretty cool. I could probably even do the, if I was in a hurry, I could do this. Well, I don't know if this is a hurry, but it's... Um, easy to copy her over and make her the other way and put those colors. Maybe so. She basically has the same, she has a very similar hairstyle to the character in Pink Lightning. That sunshine flicking her ear over there? She's still behind me. No, she left. Yeah. All right. I never played D&D. I spent most of my time outside when I was younger. Well, that's LARPing. I did too. You should have LARPed, Ian. <laughs> my LARPing wonderful now. World, yeah. world of learning. Alchemist rat folk. Oh, I like oh. a as, uh, what are they called? Skaven? Um, or rat people. I don't know. But I guess that's, uh, not D&D necessarily. Oh, well, anything Elvish like Ranger that. Is, Real playing Elvish stuff. Ranger is hard to beat. Um, yeah. Clerics are a lot of fun. Jasmine always likes just pure magic users. I usually um play uh tanks or if I can choose I would like to I like monks. You're usually a tank when you play. Mm-hmm. I like well I'm usually try to be a monk, um because yeah, they're fun we, characters. We basically just don't role play, we just play ourselves. Kinda. <laughs> because I guess I would be a monk. But man, they get really neat abilities tanks, as you but, um yeah. as you progress. A level twenty monk yeah. is, is pretty impressive. Yeah, it's hard to beat a magic user, as far as impressiveness. Well, the monk just kind of the monk I mean, is so really? becomes such a weird ethereal thing yeah. that, that you really can't mess with them anymore. They're like a. That's when Nemus heard me and thought I said monk instead of tank. Yeah. Oh, a t oh, a tank. Yeah. Things get oh, tough after a while. Yeah, I was talking about real um, life. But yeah. yeah, but magic user monk would be very helpful in real life because you oh, can yeah. heal people. They're Actually, great. if you could pick any of them in real life, you'd probably pick a cleric because it's like, oh shoot, you've got cancer, I'll help you. you yeah, know, that would be hard. I mean, I mean, you'd be just like a saint after a while or something. That would be that would be very strange. A human ranger or a really a dog. good doctor, <laughs> yeah, fancy surgeon. Hmm. Let me think. Did I have her eyes up? Yeah, I, uh... In some ways, this is harder than just painting from scratch. Uh, lower levels, tanks are great, but yeah, they kind of get... They get weird. Thieves get neat. Thieves get very sneaky. Or thieves, rather. They call thieves. Them, they call them thieves some, in some of those older oh, books. Oh, they're doing that to be token us because of dwarves and dwarfs. Well, yeah, for example, the Kansas City Chiefs. Mm. Mandy, nobody says cheese. That was your one teacher in oh school. Oh my god, I almost killed wrong. her. Let's they not talk wrong. about that ever again. Was she the one who got murdered? No, that um, was a different one. Let's, I don't want to talk about so that So you either. almost killed your teacher no, who I didn't. didn't get murdered. Okay. Yeah, okay, right. yes. Enough Fourth grade teacher versus second grade teacher. You're the one bringing up my Oh, wait, years, there's, a, there's somebody else asking a question. Will there be any tiny treasures at Tintagel? Let's change the subject. Yes, Yay. I would like to. Yes, hopefully. Let me think. We're going to leave... Um, well, we have to go to London first, but we'll be there... A couple weeks and i'm hoping to get enough time to in fact that might be something i'm working on next weekend here at twitch that possibly nintendo guy says if you guys were to cosplay who would you be and why well if the costume was really 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 good and i got just a year solid to work out uh goku dragon ball z goku. dragon ball z but i have to be other than that i'm not a cosplay sort of person i i'm trying to think who i would be or if I went like something, somebody I already kind of look like. I don't yeah. know. I don't look like a lot of you're, a lot you're of very actors. Fat. I mean, you're very buff and stuff, so you look like a lot of. Oh, someone says you could go as Bulma. Yeah, I was gonna say I could like not but do the, anything except dye my hair. And but I have, I have went to as Conan the Barbarian. We okay. To be fair, yes, my sister, and her husband, Mario, me, and Matt. Luigi. 
I've cosplayed all of the original characters from the first Tony and the Barbarian movie. When and the... I, I was the creepy witch from the cave. Yeah, and um, the it rest didn't of us. It involve a lot of cosplay. It's when Conan goes back to Amber the Tulsa Doom's lair and they're all dressed in black and white paint. We yeah. dressed ourselves up in black and white paint. It's actually really cool. There are pictures online. If you search Jasmine Beckett Griffith and Conan, you can probably find the pictures. Yeah, I was uh, kind of like a, a short chubbier conan but i, I yeah, did all right fit, yeah. i did all right and I, I didn't do anything except for the outfit because that witch just kind of kind of has a lot of eye makeup and long black hair and it's very scrawny looking and i'm not the, as curvy the guy said i'll help you out yeah. with a spirit bomb maybe you can be uh, krillin oh that's true yeah. How does she decide how many treasures she brings to an event? I think that's how many hours there are before How many the I can paint until I get there. I have painted in hotels and cars before. I have painted at um, last minute sort of things like while Matt's getting suitcases packed. I'm varnishing things. That I, I will just see how many I can do depending on the rest of my um, painting schedule and what clients I have to finish work for. If I get them done before then, I just start painting tiny treasures. Which is why I often end up with ones that are partially finished. And those are great ones to use. I'm like, oh, well, I've kind of drawn in a face. Those are good prizes I can give away here at Twitch or like at a auction off or um, things we give away at Patreon. Sometimes we give away um, mini paintings or tiny treasures up there that are partially finished. It's like, oh, Jasmine drew this part. What do you want the rest? And that's kind of where some of them come from. Because I don't want them to go to waste. Yeah, Jasmine could totally be Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas too. Yeah, that's April true. If you were it. taller, you could be. We could be Jack and I'm Sally. I'm just not. You're just very low to the ground and very buff, and Jack is very tall and scrawny, so not really great figure type. Yeah. So, I've got red now on my hair. I could kind of be sadly. I'd like Han Solo, but if we're doing DBZ, I could be Yamcha. Oh, Yamcha's great. I like Yamcha's Han Solo, good. too. I could also kind of do... Uh, you can kind of be Harrison Ford. Star Lord. Yeah. Oh, oh yes. That's People a People tell me one. that, but yes, that's, I yes. think that's because Chris of how Pratt. I wear my you hair. You remind me of Chris Pratt. That's because yeah. he's goofy, too. That's very true. Yeah. I mean, you remind me of them even in the the show I watch on the airplane, the Parks and um, for Parks Quip, and Recreation. For Quip, yeah. Deadpool would be fun if you just want to make jokes all the time. Yeah. Um, you just have to be witty. Oh, I'm not good at tracing over my own lines. And you know, if you're at a con, colors. I mean, you're up against a lot of nerds that are pretty witty often. Well, you're also up against people who their the, their time to shine is when they're going to dress up. So it, you, you know kinda, what? That's it's like why if you spend I, all year, I don't want to take that away from oh, you. Oh no! You know, when people dress awesome. up as I've Deadpool as Bob Ross, things. yeah, I've What's seen that, that T-shirt. Deadpool as Bob Ross. Oh, <laughs> that was such a politically correct way for Jasmine to say you're short. Yeah, it was, but thanks it's, for messing yeah, it up, not, River I'm not Trader. trying to be politically correct. I'm just trying to be accurate. I I am. I always try to be accurate. I, Besides, he's my, the same height I am. I'm not short. I'm actually tall. How does that make sense? Oh, so the Deadpool as Bob Ross was at MegaCon. That's so great. And they have a t-shirt. Wow, that's pretty good. No, you're just... Same height I am, but you're I'm short a wee and bit I'm taller. tall. Yeah. It, didn't, it depends if Jasmine wears her fancy boots. Oh, I don't often I, I don't wear boots. booty shoes. I don't call them booty shoes. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Let's never use that phrase again, love. Mm -hmm. No, you mean don't tall boots. booty shoes? No, mm -hmm. none of that, love. No. Okay. No, no booty shoes. No. <laughs> we won't say booty no, shoes I don't. again. I, 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 I won't honest, say people, booty shoes I, again. I, Jasmine, booty shoes. Well, I know what this episode's called. <laughs> I, I don't even wear shoes most of the time. What is Jasmine working on right now? Sorry I came in late today. Oh, that's oh don't okay. you be sorry, Kimber. Um, no, no. And welcome this is to a, the uh, um, This is going to be the May pin of the month, which will be a biohazard variant. Since it was the first pin I ever did, I don't have the mold for it, so I'm redoing the line art. I, trans I um, used a piece of carbon paper to copy it, my original line art, the marker art I did, and I'm doing the painting of it, and I'm looking at the pin, and we're going to let people vote on Patreon probably tonight or tomorrow 
to decide what colors are going to go on it because I want it to be kind of like this one but different colors. And apparently oh. it's a two year anniversary and I did not even think about that because that would have been, isn't that what um, that Nintendo guy said it was April? Yes, and he knows yeah. all. I can also probably see a computer and I, I can't from here. That helps. I wear flip flops a lot too, kitten. Mostly. I have nice ones that have an arch support, though, so I don't get, um, ouchy feet. Oh. I just don't like wearing shoes. Oh, so Steve found the, um, ESL, uh, at the ESL giveaway in the Pin Trader group. Oh, cool. So apparently they have Oh, is somebody doing one up there? Uh, probably. Cool. So many posts up there. Uh, yeah, I, I really can't keep up... Uh, a lot of Facebook stuff, it's really hard I, I for me to keep I pop in every up. now and then, yeah. and I like to, um, I, I let people in the group, and then I try to say hi every now and then, but I've never can. made a post myself. What would I post? I mean, mm -hmm. I could post something like, goofy. Like, look what Jasmine's doing. <laughs> yeah. You can, I you could. can, like, leak secrets or something. Oh. Patiently waiting for alligator girl anniversary. I don't think that's how it's working, Tammy. I don't know. I don't know. You'd have to ask Jasmine. Well, alligator girl, well, let me think. If... If Biohazard was our first pin ever, and that was April, then Alligator Girl, what year, what month was Megacon in 2017? I've done like 90 shows since then. I don't remember. Again, I wouldn't have the mold for it, so I'd have to start, you know, painting it again. Which would be fine. I like Alligator Girl. I also thought about doing kind of like a yeah. maybe a different version of her, like you want alligator of us. girl, like holding a little baby alligator, or I, I don't know, kind of going with the same theme but not the same mold, you know? Because I don't. Know Did we get like it. a? They're suggesting in the room that um, they should take pictures of maybe me and Sarah with a bunch of envelopes stuffed with being stuffed with pins. Oh well, there are certainly opportunities would you guys to take really those like photos. If you would like to see that sort of thing, welcome to my world. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll take some pictures of that. Yeah, it's like I don't know. I know Sarah doesn't mind. Uh, I, I would, can put I a happy face her. on top I of her face show, or something. I, I could show all the yeah, pins. Yeah, yeah. We did that one time, what was that? Was that um, the vinyls? It was something we were sending out a whole bunch of. And we I've done that with sure. Canvas Cuties once. Oh, yeah. I, I made mean, like that's something that was books. 140 something. Canvas Cuties before we even had them on the website. Oh, wow. For a show. Yeah. And um, I just took a picture of the whole line. Yeah. It was pretty cool. We did, no, we did that with something that was at a fact at the, we, well, we went, um, when we're in England, we went to the Nemesis Now factory, like with the forklift, and that was kind of funny. Pineapple Princess said they before. saw you in your, your, your special shoes, and you were tall. I, that, they must have been there on the last day of Planet Comic Con. One of my other boots were, were dirty. <laughs> so I wore my tall boots, and they are genuinely tall. Well, yeah. My um, niece said they were do you, Frankenstein. Do you keep, I don't yeah. remember. Do you bring those ones back here or did you have them in Kansas City? No, no. I, I, I have no use for them here in Florida. Okay. But, yeah, because I bet they're pretty warm, aren't they? They are very warm. And if you remember, that was a day that it snowed in Kansas City in April, right? Mm hmm. Yeah, that was crazy. Or I guess it would have still been March, but still, last day of March and it was snowing. We have albino alligators here at Gatorland, also, kitten. They are beautiful. And the Georgia Aquarium ones are cute. I have painted one called, Al Al wait, what is it called? Albino oh. Alligator Angel? Yep. Yeah, it's kind of more pink than it is white, but I, I painted one of them, and then that was the one that was in New right. Orleans. Right, there are actually two types of um, alligators that people call albino. The ones well, with the blue eyes alligators. actually are not albinos. Yeah, they're white the, alligators and albino alligators. Right, the... um. Those are white alligators, and they have a name. I can't I'm remember to what use up my white paint their here. word term is. And then the um, albino alligators, like actual ones, have pink eyes. One they is really a do. variant. And yeah. they have both of them here at Gatorland, side by side, so you can, Aww. well, not, they don't hang out together, but you can um, compare like and con together. contrast, hmm. as we did in uh, school. Hmm. Remember that? Hmm. Compare uh, and I contrast. Didn't. We talked about my experiences. Jasmine didn't show up that day. I went to school. 
Are there albino crocs? I would imagine. Oh yeah, I think there's albino. It's a, um, albinism is a just a, a gene thing that happens with pretty much any sort of animal. Yeah, I mean, it happens you with probably birds. have to be. Uh, uh, oh, I think to be it, at a level up. Uh, is it vertebrates? All vertebrates? I was gonna say because right, I was gonna say at least um, birds, fish, mammals. You might need a vertebrate because I don't know if like a. Yeah. An octopus. Can they be an albino? I don't know. They're not a vertebrate. They can be any color they want, can't they? Very true. Yeah, that's not a good Is example. there any limit to how many tiny treasures you can buy at Tintagel? The tiny, for the tiny treasures, usually we limit people to two per person. But if you have a friend with you, they can get some also. But yeah. I don't know how many, I'll, how many I'll be able to paint by then, but right. I'll do my best. But yeah, two two per person is how it works. If there's a lot of people, if nobody's there, we have been to shows, not recently, but we've done shows in the past where it's like we have some three days later, and it's like, well, yeah, you can buy that if you want. <laughs> that does that hasn't happened for a while. Usually, they go in the first couple minutes, but you never know. I've never been to Tintangel before, so I don't know if it's the sort of show where like eight people show up, and it, it's really hard to gauge that sort of level of sales when you you haven't been somewhere before. Very. Um, and then to compare things, if you haven't been to either of them, to compare things like Glastonbury to Dragon Con, and people are like, well, why do you have this many pins for Dragon Con, this many Glastonbury? And it's like, well, it, it, Dragon Con has, I, I don't know, 200 times the whole population of the city of Glastonbury. It's, it's hard to put that into perspective sometimes if you don't go to either of them and you're just looking at the pins it, it, it doesn't make any sense or why we would do something like the um the pins that you buy like that we do for shows that happen over the course of two months if we made them free they'd all be gone like in a few minutes but you have to make them for sale otherwise we wouldn't be able to have them for eight weeks which yeah, let's not do that. About it. <laughs> well, I've heard people say, how can we have to pay for the ones at the Renaissance Fair or at Epcot? I'm like, it has to last everybody at Disney World for two months. Do you even know how many people that is? I can I I would lose all my I would lose my house if I tried to give those away. I I buy those. It's not like Disney yeah, pays for them. Yeah. Uh, Steve says, would my Patreon discount code yeah. work on the UK site? I do know if Paul does it or not. It, it, the UK site has nothing to do with me other than it sells my artwork and my friend Paul. We're very friendly it. with yeah, the UK we, site, yeah, but we don't yeah, run yeah. it at all. But I don't run it, so I have no idea what he does as far as coupons or discounts or anything like it's that. A, but it is a good No, go he's through, awesome and it's all licensed, it's all official. Anymore. If you come to the UK, he's the one who helps me set up my booth and all that. Paul's wonderful, but I don't have any idea about what he does with discount codes or what he's selling or what he's charging or any, or what he's buying or anything like that. So It's true. You, and you he can often, ask him. They often have yeah. interesting neat products that are yeah, they have a lot of stuff that's only in Europe. Costly and, yeah. to have for us. Yeah, like in the states, we'd lose those, money they on do those sales. Big tables there in the UK that are like huge glass coffee tables, and the, it would cost thousand dollars to right. mail it to the US. So we don't sell them over here, but he'll have them there. So they'll have different things there often. Yeah. So definitely just use the contact button on whatever website you're looking at and ask them. But no, and but Paul's a great guy. Yeah, no, he's, he's very nice, and his partner Allison is is wonderful too. I like her very much. She's great. We have, They've helped good, us out a lot. Conversations. There. Yeah, they're, they're a lot of fun. And if you've been to any of our UK shows, you probably know Paul in or Allison. Yeah, they're not like they don't get grumpy. <laughs> no, I've never after seen hours them and grumpy. hours. It's it's wonderful. Yeah, they stay happy. They are very good people. Did Tintagel just invite you to the fair and you accepted? Are the people who run it associated with Glastonbury? Absolutely, Mary. Yeah, the lady who runs those, uh, Karen, is the lady who runs um, the Avalon Fairy Festival in Glastonbury. And she does other shows, too. She does Three Wishes. And also, she lives in Cornwall. Um, so that's why she does Tintagel and um, Three Wishes. Is there yeah. both in Cornwall? Karen's great. She's one of my yeah. favorite people She's in the whole lovely. world. I've known I her really for mean that too. Ages. Yeah. He's a very and her kind partner, Michael, person. Michael's a super nice guy too. 
I and th those that. events that she runs are some of my favorite. They are so much fun. Right. They like are I'm not saying, huge, crazy things like Dragon Con. They are, they are not big events, but they are fun, and the people who go to them are so worth going to. And meet. they're always in such magical locations. They literally are. I mean, she has them, again, Three Wishes, obviously, um, Glastonbury. You can, it, it, there's kind of an Arthurian theme there. You've got Glastonbury it's with a, King Arthur. I will say they're, and, closer, they're nice breaks away from the insane cons of the that's United what States. i mean as far as um comparing something like megacon to intagel or have to... a murder of crows like new orleans that's what do florida have a murder of crows like new orleans i'm not sure what you mean steve we have a lot of crows a murder of crows I mean, is just a group of crows unless it means something unless else it's a that... bar or like a restaurant yeah, you... or something do you think that um? Or, I'm, a murder yeah, of crows I, is a group of crows. You know uh, what a you know what a group of ravens is called? A group of ravens. Uh, ravens. Uh, yes, I'll have to think of it though. Well, that sounds it's not like an you inquiry. Don't know. It's something like that. I forget what. It is. No, it's an unkind. Yeah, I remember it was something weird. Oh, so you didn't know? Yes, you've you told lied. me like five times. I just forgot. No, then say when people ask you, you say no. I like an inquiry of know. ravens. I think it's better. It's like they're asking, huh? huh? No. I'm a raven. What? Looks like that book that um, Willow and Fox have, A Dignity of Dragons. I'm still, I'm still not sure what murder of what Steve's talking about. I don't know. Maybe it's a bunch of crows, or is it a place, or is it an association of people that we don't know? I don't know. Is it like Owl Camp? Now, this part here where I'm doing the eyelashes is what I'm talking about, where if we make the mold for this one, and it's not exactly like the first one, it might be different. So, you know, forgive me, I'm doing my best. I'm looking at this, and I'm looking at my old, awful marker art for the very first pen I ever designed. So, her eyelashes might be a little bit different, but we're going to try to keep her around the same size, and we'll have you guys vote on Patreon. I'm going to just put her up there. There was yeah. another funny group of some animal that had a really cute. There's name. lots of them that are very funny. If you look at if you look <clears> it up, <throat> I think somebody just had their jollies just making up groups of animals and what they're called. You know. Uh, Jane says, uh, or Janie says, uh, mm -hmm. unicorn pin. Although I'm partial to the flamingo idea. Oh, for Megacon, yeah, we talked about doing um, possibly some other animals that are specific to Florida because we have done. Obviously, um, the alligator girl, and then we did the orange blossom one last time with Carrie. Um, I think we talked about doing dolphins or flamingos or palm trees, or I'd like to have at least one that is Florida specific. I do have a painting called Orange Blossom. Fairy, but I'm worried that might confuse people because it would be very. It doesn't look anything like the painting I did called Orange Blossoms. That was the pin I did with Carrie Hawks, Tiger Pixie. A lot of you guys know her. Um, but I do have a painting called Orange Blossoms Fairy. If you look on my website, you can probably see her. And I thought about doing that one because it has oranges and it looks very Florida y. It, it's kind of in the same series, the Flower Fairy series that we were talking about, um, Black Orchid Fairy. Kind of that same series where it's the head and has little, like a wreath of different types of plants around her. We don't have any unicorns in Florida, right? I haven't seen any live unicorns. I haven't seen any dead ones either, so I don't know. I can't really speak authoritatively on the subject. I might be willing to trade my entire Star Wars collection for a porcelain pin. Wow, really? I was going to say, huh? <laughs> I was going to say, I think I have one on my old what, Now, when you say bag. Star Wars collection, yeah. what do you mean? He owns R2-D2, man. He's the real one. <laughs> <laughs> or she. I don't know who you're talking. Uh, Steve. Ah. Uh, yeah. Seattle Steve. Ah. Uh. Yeah, that was, that was pretty good. 
That's what I always tell people. You see how people are freaking out about a pin that came out a year ago or two years ago, or that wasn't even a year ago. And Jasmine, be quiet. It's a good that. thing. Oh, no, that's why I say get it when you can. That hey, go show up. Don't you don't necessarily have to buy a plane ticket, but that seems that's the thing. Is sometimes I wonder if the pin people are thinking the more the merrier. Sometimes they're thinking I should hoard these until a million people are in the pin group, and then yeah. I'll be. Rich with I kind of wonder about our own decision to never make or, or never sell any of them ourselves as far as um, event exclusives. I could have been a billionaire, I think, if I had done that. I don't know, man. But that keeps it fair, and that's more important to me than anything. Neat and clinical sense of fairness. If I had one, my husband would make me trade now. Ah. Well, Porcelain is an interesting pin because she was not one that had a stamped mold. Like how this one, if you look at it, it's like physically stamped. Again, like blind Jasmine without her contacts could feel this and I know what pin it is. I couldn't do that with Porcelain. Well, I could with Porcelain, but she's smooth. She's an offset printing sort of metal pin, which is very different than the um, enamel kind of stamped die cut metal pins. And I have thought about using that technique with other pins I've done, but I haven't done them yet. Reason being, not to be weir weird and legal about it, is because the people who are in the Pin Collectors Club, it does say enamel pins, and she's technically not enamel. She's offset print and metal. So I would feel weird making another enamel or non-enamel pin and making it a pin of the month sort of thing. But I've thought about making some that are maybe on the... Oh, like maybe on the Patreon only shopping section or making them like a kind of like how we had the Dio de Marto set where you could just buy them and yeah. it wasn't like ones we sent in the mail. That might be kind of neat. We thought it, um, we've had so many requests for the faces of the fairy <laughs> and that would be kind of a good way. They would be square, but we could use the offset printing to actually look more like the painting instead of having to do. Jasmine has to do all the outlines and, you know, all that sort of thing. That would work really good for Faces of Fairy, but I wouldn't do it as a pin of the month. I'd do it as one people could just buy off the website. But I might make it just the Patreon-only shopping site. We're trying to put more goodies up on the Patreon-only shopping site. I think we talked about last time that we added the lanyards, didn't we? Didn't we talk about that? We talked, we, I yes. think we did. Yeah, oh, that's we, when we, we did, were we at uh, the frame house, yeah. 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 I like how we're grumpy at the front part of that episode. I bet you his singer, Sunshine. That was me making fun of Milo. Oh, Milo. I, uh, I have love. two little nephews, and one likes <laughs> to be tickled and messed with and, you know, just like, hey, play with me, play with me. Yeah. And the other one says, you better not tickle my feet, and then he, like, holds his foot out to me. <laughs> So I can tickle it, but he says you yeah. better not, you know, so the, uh, I should well, just not younger brother. <laughs> see what <Yeah>. he does. <laughs> I love how kids try to trick grown-ups. It's precious. I think it's adorable when children try to trick me or schmooze me into something. It's, it's very funny. Me and the like, rabbit you know, says, I, I got a that. temporary new house and I put the strawberry girl print up as my first furniture inside. Lucky oh. turn. Aw. Good. Is that the one we're able to replace that got mm -hmm. damaged in the fire? Yay. Or what was it? Uh, yay. So, I'm so glad we kept that on file. That's why I try to keep files of all my paintings. Well, let's try them in the bathroom. I'll be right back. We've got I about 20 minutes okay. before, uh, before the raffle and uh, when we wrap things up. Ooh, you're done with wedding things. That sounds good. That, I bet that's really stressful, wedding stuff anyway. Pretty pink. You really saw a pretty pink unicorn. No, and, um, uh... Yorkshire. Yes, Ian. You saw a rhino corn. Rhinos are basically unicorns, I think. Hey, has anyone here seen a key deer? Anyone in Florida? They're tiny, tiny little deer. They're really cute. If you should Google it. Here, I'll, I'll Google it for you. 
because they're cute. And they swim from island to island. Okay, so those of you who have seen key deer probably are in love with them because they're like a, a tiny little deer. Key West deer were stolen by two drunk men one night. They had a bunch of them in their car. Well, I hope they were nice to them. <clears throat> you lived in the Keys and you never saw them? I don't know what to say. I remember someone that lived at... Pharaoh Beach, it said they never saw the crabs. That, like, thousands of crabs come on shore, and they just come through, and they said they never saw them once, so I don't know. Some people just don't go outside, I guess. Yes, key deers are cute. I think they're very cute. Uh, April, they are a little, but the key deers are even tinier. They're, they're very tiny. Oh, two baby fawns? Aww. We have a... We have some deer here in our town of Celebration that we see usually around, um... Uh, it's dusk or, or dawn, or sometimes at night. And they are tiny, but they're not as large as the ones you might see in, um... In where I grew up in Missouri, we have we have big deer like that Nintendo guy's talking about big deer up there. They're large and actually the males can be very intimidating even. And um, but the ones that live here remind me a lot of the mule deer that live mm -hmm, that live in um that we always see at Mesa Verde. Yeah, they're definitely bigger than like the key deer that you see down they in the have those Keys. Ears. But those are yeah they do have the big donkey ears like mule deers do yeah but mule deers are really cute mule deers are really cute um, but i've seen some really big deer um i've seen I know like that... elk and stuff like that i mean it's it's i sometimes i see deer and i don't know enough about them like in arizona and something i don't know what they are oh thank you for the follow bullet magnet oh thank you and we have a we have a little over fifteen minutes till the raffle. Okay, and the next raffle or the last raffle, I guess, and the and for the um. We do have a lot of wild turkeys here. They're beautiful. I love them. No, we have a, not, a lot of it's turkey vultures. I was gonna say vultures. We have so many vultures. They'll go. They'll pick through people's trash. They're, they're really great about cleaning up the um. Roadkill. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like a Which we get. Amount of... We get some bizarre roadkill. Well, because... we get. We have a lot of animals. Well, Cala so has a lot of, of monkeys. Very... Where does Ocala? Oh, I I know that, that there are, those there are in there? Central Florida. I know there are troops of monkeys that have been here since like the 1920s. I have never seen any, but I know they. Any idea when we'll be back to California, Jasmine? What's that? I didn't hear what you said. Left. Any idea when we'll, we'll be back in California in August? Um, it Madame will Leota. be around whatever the 50th anniversary of the haunted mansion is, which is. The first or second week, probably the second week of August, I believe. Again, I know it's the same night-ish as the La Bianca murders were because oh. the Walt Disney's to own that house. Seattle Steve said, my niece tries to trick me into giving away my magic secrets, so I broke down and taught her oh. just because she's so um, darn cute. Oh, that's no, great. No, don't ever do that. If you teach you're just you're training an apprentice that's no great. no 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 I, i'm against that uh, you're against magicians having apprentices no apprentices I, because Sorry. i, I give, yeah. uh, give them their tricks but i understand that she's really cute because well, i, I have cute do, nieces too well, but then i don't how are you supposed to learn you gotta be babe. careful steve don't you have an uh, wouldn't one have an apprentice <clears throat> if he just taught her a couple it's, the thing is, they have to have a they, they have to have a genuine interest. What in if she did the and she was carrying on the the family line there? She could. Yeah, don't. Steve, judge are people. you a magician? I didn't even know that. Yeah, he talked about magic with you one time in Seattle, didn't he? Oh, okay. Is that, yeah, that's him, isn't it? First, it's your magic tricks. Next, it's he's now a member of IBM. Okay, that that's totally different. That's what I'm talking about. 
about. Don't yeah, so judge people a, before they know. Okay. Yeah. Yay, that's yes, great. That's how people learn things, and that's appropriate. That's awesome. Yeah, I went to the... Has I got he been to go to the, the Magic, Magic Castle? Castle last year. A What's certain that? person in the... Uh, I said, has he been to the Magic Castle? Um, I don't know. Now I don't know what I can say or... The Magic Castle is great because there are so many tricks that oh, some of those guys did I that it. I had no idea how they did them. It, it, that was so much fun. And we went to so many different rooms and everybody was I got doing fooled something so many there. Times, and the building which is itself was awesome. And the, the people who are there are so into their craft. They're it top is just notch. amazing to watch them. And, and if the food. person who brought us there is here in the room, thank you so much again. That was one of the best nights I've had. I think life. that, that they went off with their wine. Oh, they probably <laughs> did. Yeah. That is so cool, Steve. Oh, awesome. I, well, I, if you ever perform there, um, give me a heads up. We're in California sometimes, and I know oh, that yeah. people have like stints for a month there. Yeah. Or so. That that was magnificent. And I, I love the whole building too. It reminds me of something like the haunted mansion. Bert's How does a canvas little... hold up in bathrooms? Anyone? Well, I know your sister oh, Amber. Amber has. Um, <laughs> She's had that one Alice in there clockwork for, for since I painted her. Yeah, eight years. A long years. time. Yeah, and she looks perfect, and it's right next to a shower. So and it, yeah, it is right yeah, next to without a, a frame or um, anything. And she's I, the one who makes our open edition canvases. But it wouldn't be. So, the, but honestly, it wouldn't be necessarily the first yeah. room I'd recommend having them in but i think they're pretty I'd safe recommend it more than i would do putting it like on a back porch that is right in direct sunlight yeah but i i wouldn't recommend either but uh, as far as i can tell they hold up really good as far they're as they're supposed to last for 200 years it's true the, these are not the know, not the paintings but right. the canvas je clays, right. the, the prints that we do yeah as far as i know we use the best stuff known and when something is better, we switch and we get We would to definitely better. do that. Yeah, we've done that a few times in my career. Doubles, I use double-sided sticky tape and strong magnets. For oh. hanging things up? Um, oh, for a hook? Oh, that's a good way um, to hang things up. Yeah, I if it's not, not heavy. I would not recommend I would do it with an original, but I would with a canvas or a paper print. Yeah. I would use a hook since it has a wire. Yeah. I'm the I hang up stuff. <clears throat> use a hook. <laughs> if it has a wire, you need to use a hook. I would not use any double sided tape on a I would for a paper canvas. print. Yeah. Well it depends if it's a canvas that was from Disney or if it was one from us or it, there are a lot of places that it makes it. Or Zazzle or something. Oh uh, Tammy says it is a specific print and you do have top quality. Oh thank you very much. Oh, do my best. Is Canvas Cutie and Open Editions canvas the same thing? Mm -hmm. They are all open. Um, Canvas cuties are open edition. They're little squares. They, basically, if it's an open edition, it means that I didn't paint any little things on it. It's not yeah. numbered. It's not numbered. Open edition is the opposite of limited edition. The word limited means there's a number. It's like such and such out of 25. You out could of buy a thousand of them and they wouldn't change you the number do, because there wasn't But a the quality would be the same. We make them on the same printer. I just don't paint little extra yeah, flowers. Particularly like yeah. the, the, the colors are canvas be the same. don't have a number, the but they're just are, as good. They really, except they, do, they don't have little extra things I painted. Exactly. That's the difference. So it depends what you're looking for. If you're just looking to decorate your house, get an open edition. They're cheaper. They're um, the same printer. Might as well but if you're looking for something that jasmine painted get a limited edition because i have to paint little things on them that's another thing people asked about maddie i know it's, it's kind of been a boring episode but people are asking if i could do some limited editions and show what i do on them i've done that with aceos before okay. here at twitch but sure. i could do that with regular canvases that might be cool Perfect. or masterpieces i guess we're pretty much only making them now i know, I know this is super cool. early what Days yeah. you might be at KC Renfest. I know Labor Day weekend is Dragon Con. Any other uh, days might yeah, be. Yeah, I, I, I just know the days that the Renfest is. I don't know what days I'm going to be there. I know what days I'm probably not going to be there. I think. I, maybe I don't. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a bit far out for us but we will be there probably for a couple weekends. We I, I'm always there for at least two weekends. It won't be the weekend that we're at Dragon Con. It won't be the weekend that we are in. Oh gosh, 
October is so crazy because that's when we're talking about doing um, Glastonbury, or we are going to be at Glastonbury, and also the coloring book thing. I haven't heard from them for a while, but um, is that the weekend after Glastonbury that would be there? So we, we're going to be in England for a lot of October, but we will definitely be at the Kansas City Renaissance Festival yes. for at least two weekends. And I'll let you know as soon as I know. And we uh, do pin trading there. Oh, yes. Yeah, even if I'm not there, Chris and Ian were due. And oh my gosh, we had so many funny pin trades that happened in Planet Comic Con. I don't know how much of that you saw, Mandy, but... We had people who had the, first of all, had at the easel and just got it, you know, because they were there for free and they got it and they traded it for some random pin that I had that you could easily buy online, which is awesome if people are just trading and they just like the color purple or something like that. But then we had a Marie Masquerade. We had, um, what was the other weird one? Oh, we had two of the Whippy um, ones pop up and then... What was the other pin we had that was funny? That was very odd that it showed up left. We had uh -oh. a Marie Masquerade. <clears throat> we had two. We didn't have an alligator that girl. Showed up. Oh, yeah. We had, we had some Disney ones that showed up that were odd that we were had, postcards. Um, but, yeah. But as far as pin trading goes, it's... Uh, pin trading? Yeah, we had some good ones. The Marie show. Masquerade. It was just out of the blue, and they traded it for something that you could buy on the website. I was like, well, we that's a good example. Tintagel and Glastonbury, sure. Yeah. The only ones I can't really pin trade out are the ones that are at Disney-owned galleries because they have their own pin trading there, like at, oh, at Disneyland or at the co-op or, you know, Wonderground galleries. I can't trade my own pins there because those are for Disney trading, and so far Disney hasn't made a pin. I think if they want to make a, a billion dollars, they would make some of my Jasmine. paintings into pins. Yep. <laughs> What is your earliest memory of Walt? Huh. Well, I never met him, obviously, because I'm not old enough, but... I don't know. I remember being very, very small, and we were trying to fall asleep. Me and my... I think only Kachina, so I would have been about two. And my dad saying, do you want to talk about dinosaurs or Disneyland? And it was before we took my sister Amber to Disneyland, and that's the first time we went was when Amber was born, my youngest sister. And we had to drive all the way there with her and diapers. But um, and I was kind of lumped the two together. And then I thought I was clever when I was like maybe four or five, and it was like, hey, can we talk about the train at Disneyland that has dinosaurs and it's Disneyland? And that's probably why I'm enamored with trains. So. Jasmine. Yeah. What's your earliest memory of Mickey Mouse? Uh, probably when I used to have a horrible car seat I had to be in when I was little for various reasons. And I, we were going to go to Disneyland for the first time after hearing about it a lot from my parents. And I I thought he was a mouse. mouse. Are, you, are you asking this because you know the story? Okay. And I thought I would take him home in my pocket. And I was like, Aww. well, I'm going to see Mickey Mouse. I'm going to take him home and put him in my pocket. And I remember saying that and looking back at that, like it was almost like a commercial you would say about a kid or something. And, yeah. Did did you do it? <laughs> kind of. Okay, yay. Proved me wrong. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys, we have six minutes till the raffle. Who's oh. excited? At the easel. I'm at the easel. <laughs> you are currently and at I'm the easel. And I'm at the easel. Oh, yeah. Well, the, Can I uh, show off my painting before we sign off? You in case work didn't all day, see it. drive all night. Wrong. What's that? I didn't hear what you said, love. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what Tammy's saying. You oh. spelled work all day, drive all night. Wrong. Oh, I think they're referring to a song. Oh, I, I, I don't know. Katisha says, will there be mini prints at Tintagel of the Tintagel painting? Yes. We talked about that this morning, didn't we? I think so. La you Belle... and I talked about Everybody it. Everybody yes. calls it the Tintagel painting. Her name is La Belle Dame Sans Merci. Which is a very famous uh, 
a painting done by many, but the title done by many French, for So it confuses people. And the example I use and I've used, and I shouldn't have used it probably because I've used it wrong and everybody else has too, is La Dame um, Sans Regret, which is the sting song, the police song. And it sounds regret, which is different than Sans Merci. So, Jasmine, um, what's your favorite pen? And I can answer as well. I have three favorite pens. Of my own pens? Yeah. Why don't you answer for me, Manny? I don't know. They said Matt answer as well. Oh, Matt, I thought you said you well. could answer. I was them. answering them that I would answer as well. I don't know. I feel like a jerk if I say alligator girl because I don't even have that one and I know she's worth a lot of money, but that's not why I'm saying it. I'm just saying it because I like alligators. Like Matt and I were talking about how we saw 10, 10 alligators, eight of them babies today on our walk to brunch. We saw 10 alligators and that just makes me think about living here and why I bother to do so but um I don't know that's hard what about you Manny um I actually like biohazard no no but, no bio, uh, but the that's biohazard I love the biohazard I, I, uh, I'm kind of amazed I still even have one I'm worried biohazard, that I'm gonna clockwork, have like uh, dragling for some yeah and um you like clockwork dragling yes or Allison clockwork clockwork dragling clockwork dragon, and um oak and mead okay. like well you sparkle. would like Okay, no, but I, I like it. All right. Besides, uh, yeah, well, that's what I mean. I like Alligator Girl, not have anything to do with the value or the fact she was my first. That one was cute. It, that's probably why I picked that's her when for I, an I remember that's um, we were handing that out that. at MegaCon, and people were like, "Oh my!" They're gosh. looking at her and like going, "What?" <laughs> like, what is I this? remember that nobody even wanted her. It's like we had to convince people to take her. But like, they, they're I, like, "I take this for free." And they didn't really. And they're like, well, do I have to take her? And I'm like, oh, yes, please, please take the alligator. So it's like, oh, okay. And that's when I talk about, again, not to be a salesman, but if we're doing something, take it now, even if we don't like it. Maybe okay, so five years from now. Kitten likes want Clockwork it. Dragling. It's my favorite, and I and I traded one. a pin with Jasmine to get it. Oh, lovely. Jean, Janie says, I give my kidney for at the easel. My gosh. Well, heck, we're giving it, what, you have a, I'd rather you have, have a one I'd rather in have the, Steve's what, Star Wars we have, collection. What, we have like 80 <laughs> people in the room, how many people we got, 100 people, something? Uh, you 95 might currently. One. What is it? 95 okay. currently. Okay, so you have a Better one in 95 percent chance, yes, don't, uh, if you have a choice. Or Avalon are my favorites. When, when, uh, when the lottery, as opposed to choosing a pin that you might not even wanted in a couple of years i don't know tammy said i didn't like bio until i spent time with her on the way to my new the new oh, home those eyes that's I can cool see that yeah to be fair the painting she's based off of which some people think is scavengers but she's really based the dark. Off that's of, a good one um, faces of fairy 143 um was one of the first times i did a face of one of my characters that was front forward but looking up instead of looking straight at the camera. So I think that may be why people like her, but I'm probably putting too much. That Nintendo guy, guy says, hey, Moobot, let me win. I speak binary. Well, unfortunately, Moobot is non-binary, so. Oh, Moobot is the definition of non-binary. Right, I so yeah. I won't understand what you're saying. I'm non-binary. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> now that Nintendo guy will never win because he's alienated poor Moobot. Oh, Moobot. I think Moobot is very inclusive. I've been binging the original so much, Anne Rice, um, New Orleans comes to life from the books. Oh, yeah. Yes, it does. I agree. Yeah. That's, um, I, New Orleans is amazing. Who's saying that? They're like, Steve, he's talking about, about New Orleans oh, a lot I'm lately. sorry, I, I, I don't get to see the TV when you're talking, so I don't sorry. know what talking. He's on a, a New Orleans, uh, pick. I don't blame him. That's a Has great city. Has he been there to visit yet? Have you been there? Um, well, maybe if he knows, because... It's, it brings it to life. Well, Voodoo and Violet, a Black Orchid Fairy, and the upcoming Black Orchid Fairy. My gosh. Yes, the upcoming Black, Black, Orchid, Black Fairy, Orchid Fairy, possibly in August or September, might be the best one. Yeah, and then Black Orchid Fairy can finally say, yay. You know what? I think either way, we'll probably make Ooh, sure Moobot she gets says, on. Yeah. That end of those guy said Moobot's going to be an e steak. Ooh. Ooh. I don't that sounds get like me, a mistake. Don't get me started on IPOs. Okay, let's see what Moobot okay. says. Okay, eight hey, ears at the easel. And this is random, right? Moobot's doing yeah, it? Yeah, I'm drawing okay. it now. Okay. H. Lennon 8511. Yay. 
I hope there's somebody who wanted this one because a lot of people want this one. Also, if you were wanting at the easel and you have not won this one, like tonight, we do have a handful because people kept trading us back for other rare pins that we brought from Florida when we were at Planet Comic Con. Um, hang in there because I'm going to give some away up at Patreon. If you're not a Patreon pin collector tier yet and you're really, 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 really wanting this one, you can cancel after next month or whatever. Can you put a link up real quick? Because I uh, there are some people at the pin group who are just like, I'll do anything for this. I'm like, well, just join this group or come watch me on Twitch. On it's Patreon? Gonna end it. Yeah, um, some people are talking on the pin group on Facebook and put it, put the Patreon link up for the pin collectors because we have, I forget, four of these, I think, that we're going to give away. Okay, it's yeah. the, uh, yeah. the Patreon link will come up in the social here. Okay, uh, Patreon.com yeah. backslash Jasmine. If you Griffith. really, really want one of these, join <clears throat> the Patreon pin collector tier because I have several of these that we're going to be giving away that we have traded back to us or we have leftovers that nobody wanted. All right, so H. Lennon, whatever. if you're so, in the room, yeah. you won. Hey. Or if H. Lennon doesn't talk to us, we will give them to our Patreon members oh, that, randomly. That, oh, yeah, that'll take, take a while. That, I'll, I'll keep trying them. Do we know H. Lennon? I, I don't They're know in the room the quite are. a bit. Oh, okay. Again, I always apologize if I don't know right your now. names on the... <clears throat> On Will Twitch you both have your pin team. lanyards at Wonderground on April 20th? No. We can't bring them to Wonderground. That's a Disney. We can't bring we them can't to Wonderground. That's Disney. pretty much the only place we can't bring our lanyards to is at Disney because they have their own rules about trading and they have Disney pins. Quite famously, for 20 odd years, they've had pins. So they, they, they do their own pin trading and they have very strict rules about it. But, but um, what day are they talking about on the 20th of yeah. May? Yeah. We will be at Megacon, right? On, um, are you, are you talking about the 20th of March, love? Uh, April 20th. Okay. So not the 20th of May. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. April 20th. Well, there's one that's like 25th I, of May. the 20th. I see what you mean. Yeah. There's okay. one that's a 20 something <clears throat> of May and one's the 20th of April. So, but if you're at Megacon here in Orlando on the, um, 19th? Avaznon says, so if yeah. we receive pins each month, does that mean we automatically entered or is there another way? Yeah, yeah. If you're that tier of patron, you're always automatically entered. Yep. And I just randomly pick people and whatever I have left over, I'll pop them in there. The old RNG. Yeah, it is, that's when we use, I mean, we joke about it here at um, Twitch, but that's when we use the random number generator up at Patreon. I, I, I know technically it's not gambling or time. whatever, but... We, we just, if you're already a pin collector, the reason we don't do it for the people who are $1 or they might not care about the pins and, you know, on the pin group when people are joking about people having a pin and putting it in a drawer and not caring about it, that's what I don't want to happen. So that's why we only give it away to the pin I agree. They just don't know how important there are it is people, to some people who don't know. Again, I'll use the example at um, Three Wishes with the children playing with them in the ocean and sticking them on their sandals and just walking around with them. I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> you could sell that for $1,000 on eBay right now, right. but you just don't know it. But right, anyway, guys. so next, next weekend on um, um, yeah. Sunday. Catch you guys later. We will see that. And I will probably be working on a painting. Possibly for my kitchen then. It's still light out, Jasmine. I know. So much that's why we that. didn't have to take the seeds down. Yay. Usually we would, but it's um, daylight savings Bye, time. Bye, guys. Yeah, Catch you later.